what is up everybody welcome or welcome back to my channel it is your girl silver Lex. in today's video i'm going to be giving a full detailed tutorial on how to download mods for boaters gate 3 and how to ensure that it actually works and you're not sweating you're not panicking none of that so if you are interested in this video please stay tuned and keep watching and let's get right into the video y'all Alrighty guys, welcome to step one. We're gonna go to Google. I am using a VPN browser. If you guys have this, I definitely recommend it. But the first thing we're gonna go ahead and do is type in Nexus Mods in the search engine. And we're gonna go to the website. All right, so now we're just gonna go ahead and click on the website. Make sure that you're going to the official website. This is the official website, nexusmods.com. Um, I will link everything down below so that way it won't be too confusing. So if you haven't already, you need to make an account. I cannot stress this enough. You need to make an account. You need to save the password, write the password down so you don't forget it. Okay, we got it, we got it, bestie. Okay, so the next thing that you are going to have to do is get the vortex mod manager you need this to make everything work you guys that is the only way that these mods are going to work you can find this located on their website or you could do what i did and just type it in the browser it's a lot easier because it just takes you straight to the link but this is why knowing your account information is going to come in clutch Okay guys, so once you download the Vortex Mod Manager, you verify your email, you got all of that stuff, you're gonna go ahead and click on the application, you're gonna open it up, and you will get a prompt that will ask you to log in. Once you log in on the Vortex Mod application, then you will be able to begin to download mods. Before we even get into that chapter, you want to make sure that you go into the game section and you want to add Boulder's Gate 3 to the Vortex Mod Manager. Y'all, I don't know why I'm talking slow, but I'll try to be so detailed. And I don't want no one to say that I left anything out. <laughs> Okay, y'all, I'm done laughing, but I want to go ahead and bring this up. Now, when you do start downloading mods and you have your Vortex Mod Manager, you will see this prompt. It will pop up. It is not a virus. It's none of that. If you don't trust it, you can also go through Microsoft and download um, the Microsoft.net to help with the performance. That's all that it's saying. It's nothing bad. It's not going to do nothing to your computer that you should worry about. But if you don't want to do it through Vortex, you can do it through Microsoft.com. And I will link that down below. Okay, guys, so now we are getting closer to the fun part. But before we start getting to all the mods and the greatness that we're about to unlock, you need to download these important important files it's going to be the patch 3 mod fixer pack and another one is called the ls lib slash divine tool this is what you're going to need in order for your mods to work i will link those down below you can also find those on nexus mods that is super important none of this is going to work if you don't do the fix it's not going to work if you don't download the patch 3 mod fixer and that divine tool your mods will not work. And if you don't follow the instructions that are placed by the mod creators, the mods are not going to work. Alrighty guys, so we are on the fun part, which is downloading our mods and putting it into the Vortex mod application. And then we get to see it in the game, which is super fun as well. One thing I will say is always read before you start downloading anything. Read the reviews or the post threads. Not really reviews or post threads, but read the post threads. Read when the mod was uploaded and read when it was updated if there was any updates and that way it would give you a range because as you guys know we are still in early access we have patch 9 coming out and so much more regarding boulders gate 3 in this game if you guys want to know more information about patch 9 you guys can check out my latest video i will link it at the top right of the corner 
here so you guys can see it for yourselves and check out that video so without further ado let's go ahead and showcase one of these mods now i just went and picked a mod that i didn't have already in my vortex mod application and now i'm going to show you guys how i check everything to make sure that everything is good to go when i load up my game Alrighty guys, so here I am checking the mods and they look so good. So I have the Tabs Hair Salon. I also have the Tabs Hair Salon Auto Snap Hair Pack. Um, so yeah, I had downloaded both of those. And then I also downloaded the new character creation presets for the faces. So that's how I got like the different faces and the robes and accessories basket full of equipment so that's pretty much all that i downloaded you guys i downloaded more but that's all that i had installed for today's video that i wanted to showcase and you guys it looks so amazing um so yeah i am going to show you guys how to access the basket full of equipment and the new one that i just downloaded which is the robes and accessories and we're just going to follow the directions that the creators did um and i'm pretty much going to show you guys everything so let's get into that Alrighty guys, so I went ahead and made my little character. I thought she was super cute, but here I am. I'm just checking to make sure that um, the mods are doing exactly what it said in the description. Now, some mods will say that certain races are not compatible with the mods that they created so you would have to go download a different set of mods by a different creator so that's what, all i'm doing here i'm just testing that theory making sure that's correct and boom bada boom i checked everything is good to go and now i'm going to show you guys where to get the clothing at my head Where the hell's are we? Alright guys, this concludes the video. Y'all, this mod looks so amazing. Now, I do notice some clipping with the robe, but the creator did already warn that there could be some slight clipping depending on the character. But other than that, I am satisfied. I hope this video helped you today and you were able to get mods into your game because mods really make the gameplay even more interesting than what it already is i will see you guys in my next video and don't forget to like comment and subscribe that really helps the channel and yeah bye guys